few weeks ago I was complaining about that acoustic guitar that I have that was broken. And I managed to find a few interesting selections on Amazon and I ordered one. The box was completely crushed and it was full of sand. Chinese acoustic guitars. So it was kind of going by looks since they're all probably about the same quality. Then I ordered one. It arrived in pretty good condition, but the top was a little bit too wavy, so the bridge was settled a little bit low. I didn't like the prospects for being able to adjust it. So I sent that one back and I got one from a company called Indian. And it's like, I think it's an American company, but it's clearly. I mean, it's a beautiful looking guitar. There's like inlays and binding and everything, and it's, uh, well, the box was completely crushed. I don't know exactly what got into it, but you know, maybe they backed over it with the truck or something like that. I mean, literally, no kidding, it's, it's in rough shape. But I liked the guitar, it was so, so nice looking, and it uh, had the potential for sounding good, although with the sound box, compromised. I mean, who the hell knows. But anyway, I sent that one back and ordered a, another one of the same one. And that's the one that I've got now. And it's uh, a little bit thin. It's got kind of a small body. It's not like a full dreadnought large concert guitar. But um, for recording, it's got a really sort of dulcimer-like, bright, easy to fret, you know, like the action's good. I didn't really need to do anything to it. The point is that guitar was 150 bucks. I mean, it's kind of incredible. I don't know how that, well, maybe I do know how that works. Well, that turned dark. This is another song. Maybe the, I don't even remember now. It's like six or seven into the, into the album. I'm feeling good about it, but I'm kind of stuck on what the topic is, like what the subject is. <sighs> Done with like a first pass of vocals, so it's like melody and phrasing and maybe the hook. This particular version of it's in a good place to play the individual tracks. I know it's it's like no synthesizers, just guitars these past few songs that I've been working on, but that's where it ends up. So there's parts going back and forth. I'm trying to keep it to like three voices that are interplaying, but I'm not sure. This this one requires a little bit of editing down. This, I'm kind of building it like an ensemble, and then I'll go back and figure out what the actual harmonization is going to be, and then another pass to make the melody actually fit the reharmonization. Because I'll notice that there's a couple of notes that were out of key, or you know, leading in the wrong voice, leading in the wrong way. I don't think that gives you any idea of what the song is going to sound like, and this is just like a, a part. Yeah, it'll be layered. Not ready to share the whole thing yet. Soon. I found the original bass from the demo version. which is actually a half step up from where I ended up. I think I had written it with a capo, and it just didn't seem necessary because I wanted the bass to actually use some open strings to drone on, and then also made the guitar part work better or something. I'm not sure how it ended up like that. But then I did another. Sounds like I was playing with a pick there. And then I ended up with what I have now. Which is in the new key. So, progress. Yeah, this is 